Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Mason, also Mason Lee down below. And I just wanna go ahead and say thank you guys so much for a thousand followers. This was like amazing. And it actually, I don't even know exactly what day it happened, but it was lit maybe even exactly, it might've been exactly three months. Cause I started the account April 4th. So yeah, it was probably close to exactly three months, maybe a little less. I don't even remember what day it was, but thank you guys so much. And in this video, I'll be talking about how you can get a thousand dollars on Instagram without having to do like, just in a more organic way, but also I did about three months. You could probably do it faster, but uh, yeah. And if you haven't already subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and click that bell if you wanna hear about every single time I post. So first up, create an Instagram. And when you're creating it, have like a purpose that you wanna post for. Like I knew I have a lifestyle. I was creating a lifestyle blog, so I knew I wanted to post tips and tricks. I wanted to like create a brand to, like a name living on virtually and have something to that name and tutorials, product list suggestions, fashion, fitness, food, like I wanted everything and I wanted to be like very lifestyle kind of blogger type stuff. So I just knew that was like the genre. Like I had a reason why you don't want to just post to post and that helps people find your account maybe better just through other ways that I'm going to talk about. And then just as long as you have like a vision, that is a good, that is a great place to start. Maybe look at other accounts that are similar. You can see what kind of content they're doing. And then post frequently. I never probably, I've probably never gone four days without posting. Even if you don't post, I try to post like, if I don't, I try to post three or more stories a day. That seems really annoying, but most of my, a lot of times I'll do like, I'll show my food and then how I made it or something or my OOTD. It doesn't have to be like a normal story, but just stay active because the more active you are because of the way the Instagram technology works, I guess. It's like the more the account you see the most and who you like the most of. So if you're active, they might see your account more, keep your stories because they might click on your profile. So it's good to stay active because of how the Instagram technology stuff works. And then also when posting, you can look at mine. I use a lot of hashtags. I do bullet points like five or six down, not too specific. And then you, I do like 30 hashtags because hashtags like you'll know after a little bit, you'll check your insights and you can see how many people can see your account with hashtags. And I just start with basic stuff like lifestyle blogger, YouTuber, blogger, Squarespace, Squarespace blogger because I'm a, I use Squarespace for my blog and then I do all those kind of things like in ev every type of formation I can and then I do stuff curated to the post like if it's a OOTD post like where the clothes are from like hashtag Brandy Melville, hashtag Urban Outfitters, hashtag free people because that's how people are going to find you because like free a lot of accounts might follow the Urban Outfitters hashtag or the lifestyle blogger hashtag so that's why it's good to kind of have like a genre just to know hashtags help honestly so much because once you see your insights once you're a few posts in it's easier to check your insights and don't check them at the beginning because they're not as good as you think and then this is an option but it honestly it didn't it helped me a lot just so people would see my stuff but you can promote an instagram post and that's where you can pay for people to see your post but the link they click on is your website and i have linktree in my website which you should check out it's a free program get linktree um, cause then you can have it on everything, but, and then I curated once I had posted like 10 posts, a group of people, you can fill out like a form of who, what type of people you want to see your posts. Cause you don't want people seeing your posts who aren't going to be like a permanent follower or check out your account, your, just all your information. You want someone, you want somebody who's going to be an active follower and like actually wants to see your content rather than somebody who just doesn't care. So that's why I did that after I kind of figured out, I checked my insights and then figured out who was, who was looking at my posts, like how old were they, where were they from, what are they interested in, like, and then you can do that and it helps so much. I've probably done five posts total, $15 total maybe. I never spend more than $4. You can pick the amount of money. You can make it, one, you can do $1 one day and then like 100 or 200 people will see it and you can just do that just to get like 10 new followers. But you also don't want to, I don't normally actually get followers. I just get likes, which helps get 
on like higher up on the hashtag page or on your explore page. So I wouldn't use that for followers because it is buying followers, but it just gets views to help get you on the, the way the hashtags work. So that's why I've only done like five just because it's not really that worth it to do every single post, if that makes sense. And I more do it because then my website link is there. So they'll be able to see my link tree to get to all my, like my YouTube, my blog. And yeah. And then also when you first um, create it, I followed like 50 or so accounts. You can do as many as you want that I was interested in, but they were similar to where I wanted to be. Like, a th like no more than a thousand followers, just starting small and I was active. I would set up on their stories, comment on their posts, just so I could be a part of the I don't even know what age are Gen Z like blogging community. So that's kind of what I was looking for. Just kind of like other girls my age that were blogging and I'd follow them and be just an active follower. And maybe they'd follow you back or other people would see you and that kind of stuff. Also, I wasn't told this before, but I don't even know how I figured this out. Oh, some girl like DM me asking me if I wanted to be in one. It was Facebook groups, they help so much. There's so many like Instagram blogger babes and blogging babes and all those kind of things. And there's like threads, like like threads, follow threads and like blog view threads. Like that stuff is so helpful. Like join the Facebook groups. I'm a part of like 10 different ones, like YouTube, blogging, Instagram, Pinterest, and sometimes other YouTubers have them too. So they have them for like their fans. So I do that a lot. I'm a part of like so many, but I like it a lot. It helps make friends. I'm just active on those groups because it just like helps your social media as a whole. And also with that Facebook, create all the social medias, Twitter, YouTube, uh, website, Pinterest, Instagram, you know, all the websites. I have a Visco. I have my Spotify linked because then I just, my networking and like just through all my accounts, I don't check all of them every single day. I never check Twitter. I just tweet whenever I post a blog and do the hashtag, but then I put my link tree in the bio of everyone and just kind of all get random followers like, hey, saw you on Pinterest or something, you know, like something like that. So it just kind of helps get your name out there on every, like especially Pinterest. I repost all my blog posts, all my Instagram posts, like in the links to it. And my Visco especially, I repost on my Pinterest because that's just how random people are going to find you because of how it's just like they're looking through. It's more random to, for people to find you on Pinterest rather than Instagram. So that's just, I just get all the social medias, get your name out there. Um, oh, I don't know if I meant, did I mention this? No. When also you're like picking your purpose at the beginning, like I mentioned first, um, I kind of thought of like a theme, like a color scheme I was looking for. So my blog is like light pink, but I do like, it's like a light pink neutral with black typing, kind of like basic, but the pictures are like normally outside pictures, like greenery, but also very colorful. So that's kind of how I like to keep it. And I've mentioned this before, I have a couple Lightroom like presets that I've made that I use and they're all kind of like the same, but for different like lighting, like outside, if I take it outside or inside, they kind of look different. It's hiccup, do I have the hiccups? Um, so I do that and I actually didn't have Lightroom for my first couple of posts. I just didn't know how to make them. So I have like my same Visco ones and Tezza, which is a good editing app where they have really good filters and they all kind of match just kind of so they match and a little bit so a little bit cohesive some people are all about the aesthetic i'm just more about the content so i don't worry so much i just like mine bright and colorful so i just like to accentuate if i'm wearing a pink shirt i want to say accentuate the pink shirt so that's kind of what i do just to help pop and honestly this is it this is pretty much all i do and i'm just stay active because if you leave it for a week, like it's, I lose, I lose maybe five followers a week. Maybe not that many, but you lose a lot of followers if you're not active. Like there's been weeks that I was not, I've maybe posted once and then like on a Wednesday. And then that whole week I probably lost five to 10 followers. And if you're not active, people just aren't going to follow you because they go through and unfollow all the accounts that aren't active. So that's why it's just a thing. Like even stories, those are super great to stay active on. And if you guys have any other questions, comment down below, check out the blog post link. And uh, yeah, that is it. And also it is an exponential growth. One zero to 500 is a little bit slower. 
I would say that took me two months, but then 500 to 1,000, like more people are gonna follow a count that is 500 to 1,000, 500 plus followers than zero to 500, just because they're gonna follow a count more followers. So once you get to 500, it's just, it's like just very, it, it's a big exponential growth, if you know what I mean? So I would not stress about it at the beginning. It's gonna take a long time. Like those first like 200 followers were for sure just friends and family or just random people that found me that was not anybody that was interested probably, maybe from a promotion, but just remember it's exponential. Be you, don't like download apps to get more followers other than like a social media, but don't download, get followers now or anything like nothing. This be you, there are things that can help enhance your content. Like I said, Facebook groups and different apps and different stuff like that. This just enhances it and maybe helps you grow faster than you would. But this took me about three months. You guys could probably do it faster, but it doesn't matter about the time. This is just how I did it and how I promoted my content. And that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching. My Instagram and all my socials are linked down below. So go check that out and subscribe give this video a thumbs up click that bell if you want to hear about every single time i post and thank you guys so much for watching